Black Smile Story. Someone known to millions as anchor of the Today Show, Dateline NBC correspondent, mm-hmm. recently announced host of Access Hollywood and Access Hollywood Live, to two, she's known as mother, yes. to one, she's known as wife, but to me, she's known as my friend from the gym. Yes. So right now, and I running. and running. All along the Hoboken waterfront, magical things happen in Jersey. That's very true. I I knew when I saw you running past me, we connected. I am so excited to find out just what makes you smile, Natalie. It's, you know, when you wake up in the morning and you know you're going to have a good day because it's going to be a nice hot summer day to knowing that your afternoon, you're going to have time off with your kids and getting the opportunity to really be with them, being able to appreciate the moments in life. I think too often we're so busy and go, go, go. And I know I am, especially always on my phone, always connected. I think it's when you disconnect is when you really appreciate life at its finest. So I'm trying really hard to do more of that, especially as I have big life changes, as you talked about my move and a lot coming up in my life that is sort of an uncertain, uncharted path, but at the same time, it's an exciting time, so there's a lot to smile about. There's a lot of change, a lot of new opportunity, and a lot of um, ways to, you know, to make new friends and meet new people. So I'm excited about the changes, and I'm smiling a lot more lately. You made me smile just telling me your story. Honestly, going back to what makes us smile, your story is great. I mean, somebody who came here from northeastern Pennsylvania who lost 120 pounds. And you were there at the gym when you first approached me with that story. I was like, there's somebody who's a go-getter and knows how to make things happen. Surprise! <laughs> so this, we're not gambling. No. This will be easy. Well, I feel like we can. Okay. The winner gets the Emmy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, you, you are too. my friend. No, no. <laughs> a bikini. <laughs> I'd like to be able to wear one again. That would really make me smile. <laughs> Maybe if I keep seeing you at the gym, I'll get back into that little yes. yellow polka dot bikini. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to live without this right now, so that makes me smile. Clapping, praise, praise. I think it's always something that you want, you know, and you need validation. And often in our lives, we don't get enough of it. Too often we hear when we don't do things well. I do believe in giving a you know great job and well done and a pat on the back and high praise. But I also think it's important not to coddle too much, too, because you want them also to be realistic with their expectations in life, because that's not how the real world is. Oh, Oh. wow. How about that? Yay. I'm basically a child of immigrant parents, so I think this card speaks volumes about my work ethic, about who I am through and through. I'm an American first, and I I love and believe, and I, I do my job as I believe is a civil you know, civic duty to our country. In some ways, you feel like, you know, being a journalist is is really about um, being able to uh, strengthen people's um, hearts and minds. And and I think that's uh, that's probably the best card I could have picked out of the bunch, actually. So that makes me smile. Oh. Oh no, tears. Well, this oh, no, is. No, no, a... that's a happy smile. That's like. I'm laughing so much, I'm crying, right? (laughs) I learned this recently on our show. Well, let's laugh and laugh and laugh and hopefully produce those happy tears. Because we have an American flag. Oh, no, don't ask me to sing. (laughs) No, okay. I thought it was going to be a duet. Well, what what would you like to sing? Uh, Well, the first patriotic song that comes to my mind is Your Grand Old Flag. Oh, I can do a couple of verses. Oh, verses? Uh, I, I only know a couple of lines. Okay, I think. lines. <laughs> I could do the whole thing. Yeah. You're a grand old flag. You're a high-flying flag. And forever and peace may you wave. You know better than I do. That's it. <laughs> I just sang with Natalie Morales, everybody. How great. That is my hashtag smile story. I appreciate you. And I think a lot of people, there need to be more people like you. I believe in you. And that, I think, is what people need to hear every day to make themselves smile. So, Natalie, thank you so much again for sharing your hashtag smile story.